go math, uh, lesson 8-8, eight, eight, so unit 8, lesson 8. And up until this point, we've been talking about expressions and equalities. So with our equalities, uh, really what we have is a way that we've represented something as an expression, and then we make it equal to something else. So that's an equality. Well, today we want to talk about if equality is equal to something, then an inequality is not equal to. Now, um, there's a little bit that I want to clarify with that, except there are specific guidelines for answers. So typically in an inequality, we have greater than, we have less than, we have greater than or equal to, and less than or equal to. And this is usually a new sign for people because it's sort of a combination, and if I drew it a little better, sort of a combination of an equal sign and a greater than or less than sign. So you'll see typically that line underneath um, means that it's something like, so if D were greater than seven, well, D could be any, it could be seven and 100. It could be 9,482. But one thing it cannot be is it cannot be seven because it's not equal to seven. But if I changed it and I said D was greater than or equal to seven, well, then it could be seven and 100. So it could be 9,423, or it could be seven because it can also be equal to seven. Um, so this is where we get those solutions that, that don't tend to be as clear cut. So if we were talking about maybe a restaurant and the restaurant has a fire code and it can hold 312 people. So the number of people in that restaurant I know for sure is the number of people will be less than or equal to 312. It could be 312. They could be absolute fire capacity. Can't put another person safely in that building. Or it can be less than that. But it can't be 313, 314. We just won't fit any more people. All right? So inequalities. Let's take a look at our book here. So the first one, unlocking the problem, use substitution to determine the solution. This looks like just what we did in our expressions. And just like what we did in our equalities is we first got, we're given an answer, and that answer then goes back and helps us to solve the problem. We can just put it in and determine whether or not it is true. Write the inequality. So check whether A equals 678 is a solution. So A equals 678. Simple enough. Just like I did with my, um, my other problems, when I have something like substitute 678 for A, so if A is greater than 650, is 678 greater than 650? Yes, it is. So it is true. So 678 can be a solution for this equality. But you have to realize there are infinite solutions to this equality, which means that if I have at least $312 in my bank account, that means that I have 312. I've got 313, I could have 3 billion 700 million, but I know that I don't have 311 because I have at least 312. Okay, so there are infinite amount of answers that will satisfy that particular solution. Look at the next one. Determine whether the given equality or the given value of the variable is a solution of the equality. So B is less than Three tenths. Start with the expression or the equation or whatever you're working with. Then substitute, right? Spemdas. First thing you want to do in your parentheses exponents multiplication is simplify and substitute. What can you do? Now b is equal to negative two tenths is less than positive three tenths. Is that true? Yes, it is. Any negative number is less than a positive number, so that is a solution, right? take a look one more oh they're giving it to us in fractions which certainly we could use the help now I see that greater than or equal to sign so M is greater than or equal to two-thirds again start with the, the expression the equation whatever you're working with 
Now is m equal to positive 3 fifths? Positive 3 fifths is greater than or equal to 2 thirds. Let me clean this up because I wrote that wrong. Uh, 3 fifths. There we go. All right. Well, in order to do this, like any time I'm comparing fractions, uh, if I'm not just multiplying or dividing, I need a common denominator. 3 fifths and 2 thirds, the common denominator is 15 ths. So 5 times 3 and 3 times 3, 9 15 ths is the equivalent of 3 fifths. 3 times 5 and 2 times 5. 10 15 ths is the equivalent of 2 thirds. Rewrite your expression. Is 9 15 ths greater than or equal to 10 15 ths? No, it is not. It's less than. So 3 fifths or 9 15 ths is not a solution. So again, when you're talking about inequalities, we are talking about something that could be true, but there are infinite numbers that could be true. We want to know if, um, in this particular lesson, if they're going to give us a value for a variable, does that value fill the need that we, that we have for our uh, equality here, or inequality, rather. Things to look for, uh, greater than, less than. Always remember that the alligator eats the bigger number. And you'll see this new sign for some of us here, which is greater than or equal to, and less than or equal to, which means they can be equivalent or one of the other, okay?